Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with another Super Mario Odyssey experiment. You may already have been able to guess what this one is. Uh, you can see we're on the moon. And we're gonna head over to the uh, moon caverns and we're gonna try to do the moon's cave skip and not do the moon caverns. <laughs> uh, I've been practicing this a little bit off camera so I think I should be able to pull it off. I'll try to explain how to do it as well just so you get a bit of an idea. Uh, I'm not sure I can explain it well, but we'll see how we go. Uh, so basically what you want to do is just get over there. Uh, I'll just explain what you're skipping first. Uh, you can see that there's a cave here. Uh, if you go in there, there's a fairly long, uh, fairly linear challenge area that you have to get through. Uh, at the end of it, you come out at the top of this cliff. Uh, where there's another checkpoint, and that's where you need to go to finish the game. Uh, so, ideally you would want to not go in there and skip that whole area, which is possible. Uh, and that's what the Moon Cave Skip does. Um, so basically, what you do is you come around here where the Sphinx is, uh, you want to jump on top of the Sphinx. Like this. Uh, then you want to do a little ground pound jump. You throw Cappy. Tilt forward a little bit. Okay, yeah, I pulled it off first try. So let's try to explain that a bit better. Uh, basically what you want to do, you do a ground pound jump first. Without pushing any directions on the on the stick, you just want to go straight up, throw Cappy, then you tilt forward a little bit so that you fall and bounce off Cappy. You don't do a dive. Then you want to move over. You can see there's like an L shape here. You want to get yourself inside that L shape. Uh, but not quite touching it, so sort of in the bottom right corner of the L shape, I guess, is where you want to be. Uh, but just above where the L, where the, where the lower line of the L is. Uh, and then you want to do a wall jump in that spot. Uh, it's a good idea to use a cap throw to line yourself up in the right spot. Uh, if you, that part is the important part. Um, there's a weird quirk in the way this geometry works, such that if you wall jump in that exact spot, you're allowed to wall jump again on this side wall, and therefore get all the way up. Um, I don't know why it works that way, but it does. So, let's just do it again, and take a look. See, if you don't get it right, that will happen. You'll slide down the wall much farther, and you won't be able to get up. But if you get the right spot exactly on the first wall jump, then Mario will be able to do the second wall jump before he slides down too far, and that will give you the ability to jump to the top of the cliff. So, uh, I'll just try to do it again. Yeah, uh, that wasn't great. So yeah, um, basically, yeah, you want the bottom, the bottom right corner of that L, basically. Um, uh, above the line. You want basically all of Mario to be above the line. And I'm not doing it very well now. <laughs> mm. I did it first try, but now I can't do it again. There we go. So yeah, uh, bottom right corner of the L, but entirely above the line. And then, once you've done that, you'll be able to easily do a second wall jump, which gives you enough height to get up here. Uh, this is the exit of that cave we were looking at. You come out here once you've gone through that whole long cave. Uh, which lets you get to this checkpoint over here. ka -ching! And it lets you go up there and do the rest of the stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go see if I can climb to the very top of the, um, wedding hall. Uh, without using any frogs. I've been up most of it, but I haven't gotten those three star bits at the very top without using frogs. So I want to see if it's possible. Uh, it looks very tall, but because of the low gravity here, you can actually get up most of this place without using any frogs with no problem. As you can see, like, even a wall jump gives you an enormous amount of height here. Uh, which it normally doesn't do in this game. Okay, so this is the tricky part. Uh, what we're gonna do, if we can... Get up to here fairly easily, there we go. Uh, then we want to... Ah, oh, Cappy, no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I was trying to do a cat bounce and you got stuck on that little thingy. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I could never be mad at you, Kathy. I love you so much. <laughs> that was cute. Yep, happened again. Same problem. <laughs> So you can use the actual momentum of your wall jumps to gain quite a bit of height here, which is useful. Uh, let's see. Let's try using a ground pound jump instead, just so I don't have to move too far in one direction or another. There we go. Hmm. I don't know if I can get enough height for that. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Can I? Can I triple jump here? Yep. Hmm. I'm not sure that's reachable without a frog. Jeez. Trouble is, of course, with low gravity, triple jumps are much, much slower than they otherwise would be, which makes it a bit tricky to do one when you want to do one. Yeah, you only get one wall jump, and this slope is very slippery. Can you jump off these things? Can you stand on them? I don't think you can. If you could stand on them, you might be able to get more height that way, but I don't think they'll let you... Oh, maybe you can stand on this bit. Oh, hello, hang on, hang on, you can stand here, so maybe if I do a backflip from here, and then mess it up. Uh... <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, there's some visible coins here, so if you want some visible coins, this is the place you can go to get them. Uh, you can also get stuck on these little walls when you're trying to do jumps and stuff, so watch out for that. <laughs> it's easy to go up this way. The reason this is proving harder than uh, the moon skip is that that's a well-known technique that you can find tutorials for, whereas I don't think anyone's made a tutorial for climbing this particular place without using a frog, because you can just use a frog. <laughs> oh, you can stand on the bell. I didn't know you could do that. That's neat. Oh, almost. Ooh, yeah, I think I think that's doable. Uh, you just got to use these pieces to get enough height to start with. Uh, okay. Let's, let's see. Is a ground pound jump about the same as a backflip? I think so. Hmm. Because, yeah, you get exactly one wall jump without uh, having to bounce off a... Yep, yep, that's possible. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, uh, so that's uh, two moon moonly experiments done. <laughs> uh, I might go do another moon skip just to make sure I haven't forgotten how to do it while I was doing that other thing. And that'll be a short video, I guess, because, yeah, moon skip doesn't take long. That's why people use it, because it's, it's like moon cave skip. Cave skip? I don't know. I mean, you're not skipping the whole moon. You're skipping a little part of the moon, which is called the underground moon caverns, but everyone calls it cave skip, even instead of the cavern skip. I don't know. I guess Cave Skip is shorter, and speedrunners don't like to use long names for things. For the same reason speedrunners are speedrunners. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Um... No, I did it wrong. So yeah, you, you wanna... The, the positioning is very precise, because it's basically a quirk of this geometry that it lets you wall jump, even though it logically shouldn't. Uh... Mario gets, like, one wall jump. Uh, off of any wall, and then he gets another wall jump off of walls that are considered to be opposite the first wall. Uh, I don't know how it determines that, 
but I guess the way this geometry is shaped, it thinks these two walls are opposite if you jump in exactly the right spot, even though they're obviously not. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I think that's the spot. Yes, there we go. Moon skip. Moon cave skip. Um, so yeah, that's moon cave skip. Um, you can get these coins up here. This is a reward for going through the moon cave, but we didn't go through the moon cave, so we really don't deserve this reward, but I'm gonna have it anyway. <laughs> um, and because the moon caverns are pretty much the only substantial part of this kingdom that you have to do, uh, being able to skip it makes this area of the, of the game much, much shorter in an 80% speedrun, which is why speedrunners all do it. Uh, apparently, uh, Moon Cave Skip is much easier in 1.0, but it's completely doable in any version. I am playing 1.3, uh, because, you know, I'm on the latest version, which is 1.3, and, yeah, I've done it a bunch of times. You can see it's clearly possible. There we go, there it is again. Um, I'm not really consistent enough with it to do a real speedrun, and I'm not good at being fast in other ways, which you need to do a speedrun besides, you know, just doing cool stunts. Uh, things like, you know, rolling in the right places and jumping in the right places, that sort of thing. I don't have any routing ideas, but, um, you know, I'm good at this one little thing, but not good enough to do a speedrun with it. <laughs> okay, um... Anyway, uh, that's probably it for this video. It's kind of a short one because I pretty much just wanted to do that one skip. Uh, although I do want to try to do the skip while permanently crouching because that's something that uh, people wanted me to do in the crouching run. So hang on, I'm just going to head back over there. Uh, see if I can pull it off with that slight quirk. Um, theoretically, it should be pretty much the same because the skip takes place almost entirely in midair. And holding crouch doesn't do anything when you're in midair, um, but it'd be a little bit different. I might 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 have a little more trouble lining up properly to do it. For example, uh, let's see. So yeah, I am I am now holding ZR. I'm not using a rubber band because I'm still on the Joy Cons. That wasn't the right spot. It, it's hard to see where the spot is. That L there does help, but it's not like exactly, you know, jump inside the L and you'll be fine. It's a bit more precise than that. Okay. Yeah, um, I believe you're allowed to do another wall jump if you're lower than where you did the first wall jump, regardless of where the next wall is, but that obviously doesn't help you in most cases, uh, because you're trying to gain height and not just, you know, float around and be useless. <laughs> uh, I'm having some trouble here. Uh, maybe I'll try holding L instead, just because there's a lot of button presses involved here and it's a bit precise. No dice. I'm sure this is doable while permanently crouching. Like, my movement is essentially the same, it's just I have to do a little backflip at the beginning. You can see I'm doing the same moves. Yep, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's Moon Cave Skip while permanently crouching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that Moon Cave Skip while permanently crouching. I hope you enjoyed the normal Moon Cave Skip while. Um, permanently able to not crouch if you wish. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed me climbing to the top of the wedding hall without using a frog to get up there. And I hope you enjoyed this video overall because that's everything that was in it. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess next time I'll do some post game experiments? I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I think of. Um, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>